What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Smell Good Fragrance Reviews. My name's Sean. All right. So today, we're going to go over a fragrance that just slays it. And it's one of those ones that's a creeper. I uh, I went nose blind to it. I ain't going to lie. I couldn't smell it on myself, and then I started getting crazy compliments. So, stuff works. It's relatively inexpensive. Right now, through their website, this right here. Yes, sir. 1821 Sweet Tobacco. You can get this for $60 through Man Made's website. Cheapest you'll find that sucker on the internet. I promise you that. And it's so good. It's so good. Uh, you're here. Because I like it. I like it a lot. I think you're freaky and I like you a lot. Yeah. This is just good. How do, uh, I mean, the, what they put into this, what they're selling it for. Remember when I told you like longevity and performance is something people should be embarrassed about. When this is normal price, it's $80. And it's a pretty good size container. I want to say it's pretty close to 100 mil. It is 100 mil. 80 bucks. 10 hours, 12 hours out of it. It's ridiculous. And it smells like a niche fragrance. 80 bucks. So they brag on this thing pretty good. They said they put 30 oils into it. They even go through... Man, you shut the fuck up. Heater decided to pop on. It's cold as shit in Maine. 17 degrees sun, let me tell you what. We've had 50 degree weather. All of a sudden you wake up to 17 degrees. That'll make your squirrely hangers literally look like that of a newborn baby's. Well, maybe not. They're just kind of swollen when they're born, right? Been a while since I had kids. But anyway, yeah, this is so good. That opening pops up. You get the citruses, the dried fruits, the spicy saffron, and you get that uh, manuka and honey in there. It's just so good. You get smoky vanilla now rolls in through with some tonka bean, gives it some nice sweetness, and then tobacco. And it's the good kind of tobacco. Like, I don't know what kind of life you live before the life you're living now or if you're still living that life. Word. Back in the day, tobacco used to come in a pouch. Chewing tobacco. It was raw leaf tobacco. Before all this dusty stuff people put in packets and stuff, they were like putting, it looked like cow shit in their mouth. It was great. But it smelled so good. Like a rut, like a, Real rustic pipe tobacco. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's a great tobacco scent. I love it. And you get the woodsy notes come in. You get like a powdery musk. And it just sticks. It just sticks. And everybody loves it. Crazy compliments on this thing. Like ridiculous compliments. So. If you go to their website. They talk about the strength of it. They put no water in this at all, which is great. I mean, in the fragrance game, a lot of them, water is cheap. It's easy. It works. But they don't. They do use a lot of alcohol, like a heavy dose of it. But you want them to use an alcohol because the oil content with the alcohol, you want to do a little experiment, take some vegetable oil, put a teaspoon of it into a half a cup of... Um, distilled alcohol and watch what it does it's going to seal it in there because it gets here on the top and it seals it in so you get those oils in there so it's going to stick around it's not going to evaporate like a lot of cheap fragrances that put the alcohol on top of the water water evaporates alcohol evaporates left with nothing so they do they do 20 percent oil 80 percent uh deterred alcohol which is basically distilled alcohol so it just sticks in the oils that they use, they're all extract oils. It's, so you get that, just, it smells expensive. And they're using good quality ingredients. It's amazing. I mean, I can sit here and go on and on about it forever. But it's fucking famous. So, they were kind enough. And I got this. Right here. To send me this. Which is 
let's peel this bitch open. It has a little talky talky, little sample in there. So I don't have to do a decant. <laughs> I love it when people do that. Makes my life a lot easier. But this is yours. All you gotta do, down in the comments, okay? Tell me why you wanna try it. If you have it, what do you think about it, right? I always like to know what you think, because everybody, scent is subjective. We all look at it differently. We all smell things differently. We all experience things differently. I love it. I will never not have a bottle of that. Although that probably will last me the rest of my life. 100 mils is a lot. When you get a, a couple bottles, like I got five or six bottles behind me that I'm working on. I guess that's what I tell everybody. I just got five or six. I don't have a problem. Oh, those, those are just for looks. They're, they're empty. Just got water in them. Ah, someone they give me the bottles. <laughs> yeah. Granted, fragrances. The acquisition is a problem. I mean, you don't know you have a problem. But then again, I've been collecting for so long. Do I really have a problem or am I just like fragrances? I don't know. I got a couple though. And I like them. Fuck it. Right? This is yours. Comments. And when you win, we're going to make this nice and easy. I have a Facebook page for Smell of Good Fragrances now. Please, if you're into the Facebook thing, which I know a lot of people hate Facebook now, but I'm not going to keep doing a ton of shit that I'm already not doing. Facebook's easy for me. I just link it to my page and it lets me know when I get a notification and stuff. But just look up Smell Good Fragrance Reviews. Bam! There's the Facebook page. Give it a like. If you win it, message me through there. Give me your address so I can send it to you. It's that simple. It's so simple. A caveman can ooga booga it right to fucking death and get a sample. All right? And for those of you who have won samples that haven't sent me your address, if you're watching this video, your ass is on notice. From now on, seven days after. If I don't get your damn address, next person in line gets the fragrance. I'm sitting on eight of them right now. No addresses. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but it takes time out of my day to decant those. I put a label on them, which is just me scribbling on a piece of paper. And I pay to ship it to you. You could at least give me an address. I'm, not, I'm starting to like collect decants of bottles I have. That's what looks like you have a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? So come on. If you say you want it and you don't want to give out your address, don't fucking say you want it and I won't put your ass in the thing. Yeah? It's that easy. Like, share, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, you cannot win anything. You have to be a subscriber. Why? Take care of those people who actually give a shit enough to hit a subscribe button. Later, man. Y'all be good. Catch you later.